Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, I spent almost $600 on Kylie's new clothing brand called Kai. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the last time I did a Kylie clothing haul. It was a complete and total bust. It was with Kylie Swim. It's freaking see-through. And now from what I can tell and what I believe, I think she scrapped that project 100%. I did a review on that and it went viral on TikTok. It also went viral on my YouTube channel, which was kind of crazy. I'll link it. I mean, it's not even a brand anymore, I don't think, but if you guys wanna watch that video. But now we are on to Kai and I've spent $600. I bought five pieces. I have a lot to say, even though I haven't tried it yet. But my first and foremost thoughts is, I like the name of the brand, <laughs> it's Kai. My second thought is, I think she scrapped her swimwear brand because of how much bad press she didn't wanna, I probably, this is me just thinking out loud, but she probably didn't wanna fight through recovering all that and having to prove herself. She just said, you know what, we'll start over. And when you're a billionaire or a multi, multi-millionaire, you can do that. But whenever you have like a small business and things don't pan out and you invest a lot of your money into your small business, you can't just scrap a brand. You have to keep working at it and try to make things happen. But when you're a billionaire, you can say, that one didn't work out, we'll start over. And I believe that's what she's done here. I think in my conspiracy, she saw what Kim did with Skim. Skims is doing so good. And Kylie's like, wait a minute. But I like what she's done. Whenever I saw what she came out with, I feel like it's very LA, like fashion-y vibes like very Revolve vibes on her website. It's not so much like everyday pieces of clothing, but like pieces of clothing to wear out. I was also so far impressed with the price point. Yes, it's expensive stuff. I would say the prices line up with something like Nordstrom, Revolve. I expected it to be more because of her name and likeness. I figured th these clothing items would be like $500 for one piece and that's just not the case. So based on the quality, we'll see. Let's unbox stuff and then I'll try it on for you guys and tell you my honest thoughts. So I did two separate orders. It comes like this. Oh, it shipped really quickly, I will say that. And it comes in these little Kai branded bags. Okay, that's my small order. This is my big order, y'all. Look at how big this box is. Everything's falling out. Okay, I think I ordered five different pieces, so we got a lot to try on. The first item I got is the long dress. This is a long leather dress. The packaging feels nice, like the shipping packaging, and then the, the thing actually feels so heavy, like wow. Like this feels like extremely heavy, honestly. I don't know where she's getting these prices, but this is only $148, and for a dress, this like looks and like heavy, it has this thick mesh stretchy lining on the inside. Look at that, it's so nice. Has pockets on it. Now we'll see how it fits and like what it looks like on because I'm scared. My body is not a Kardashian shape. It's not, you know, the curves. I'm giving pencil-esque. So this has curvature to it. If you can see around the hips, it kind of flares out a little bit. So I'm really interested to try this on. But I gotta say like, I can barely lift this up. My arms are hurting. It is such a heavy dress. Like I literally would think this would cost like four or $500. And it's for 148. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice this detail. On the back side of the dress, it has a split. So this is upside down. So this will go on the back of your legs. You can zip or unzip the split. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. And then it looks like they have straps that you can wear with the dress or you can tuck them in because the straps come from the inside of the dress. Or is that hanger straps? I think it's hanger straps. First and foremost, this dress, Y'all, I'm impressed. I kind of thought I would be though, based off the quality that I saw of her trying it on, like herself and like wearing it. I was like, that actually does look pretty nice for the price. To be honest, I'm not that shocked. But this is faux leather, so that's nice. And it says it's a strapless long dress for 148. I bought it in the size small. And so these are hanger straps. These are just like really luxe hanger straps. Let's go try it on. I just have to say first and foremost, for some reason, this dress fit me like a glove. I thought there was gonna be all this like loose hip fabric. And there's really not. It fit me nicely through here. I do not have a bra on underneath this. I feel like I didn't need one because the material is so like tight and thick. The only thing is because the dress is made with such a thick, heavy material, I do feel like if I wore this out, I'll probably just be pulling it up a little bit throughout the night because it's a tube top dress and the material is just so thick. It kind of is heavy, you know? I will say this part right here looks good standing up, but when I sit down, it kind of like pinches out. I do think with any type of leather dress like this, you're probably probably gonna get a similar experience because the material has to go somewhere. And by the way, I don't know if I told you guys this, the pockets are real on both sides and they have a lining, the mesh lining in the pocket. So you can zip, unzip the pockets and they are very real. And then the back side of it looks like this. It fit really nicely on. And then you can zip and unzip the um, 
split in the middle. So, you know, if you want it like a little bit of a tighter experience, you could get that. But I absolutely adore the way this looks on. I just paired it with a pair of my boots. Definitely something I will be wearing out. You're gonna see me in the streets in this dress, honey. I like the detailing of like the stitching. I do too. It kind of gives it like this thin. corset snatched illusion, even though if this was just a plain dress, I don't think I would have this much of an illusion of like a curve here. I kind of think the dress gives you that, which is really lovely to be honest. I think this dress is well worth the money. So the whole thing I told you guys has this like mesh lining in it. I am telling you, it makes it feel so soft on the inside so you're not wet with sweat trapped in this tube top dress. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I knew it. <laughs> the next item we're gonna open is the crop puffer jacket in cobalt blue. It was only $118. I know multiple websites that sell these puffer jackets for two to three hundred dollars. So I can't believe that this one was $118. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is so I mean like look how you can tell it is so thick. It is like the biggest puffer ever. If you were going somewhere in the snow, this would be so cute. However, in Los Angeles, this would probably not be worn ever. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, this feels like it was way more than $118 to be honest with you. I don't know what kind of deal she's got going with her manufacturers, but like in clothing, cause we cut and sew and like create a lot of our own stuff with Minimal LA, which by the way, I don't know if you guys knew, we dropped the Minimal LA Essentials collection and it's all of our basics. We have a crew neck, a basic t-shirt, and basic sweatpants and we have three different colors. So if you guys wanna check those out, they're on minimumla.co. I'm so excited about it. Also our slouch socks, we have the white pair back in stock. So we have all three pair in stocks. So if you guys wanna check those out, shameless plug. Okay, let's get back to Kai. I love this. I love the color. I love the feel of it. It's like a hard shell on the outside, but it still feels matte and soft and velvet. It has this puffer collar neck. I'm like, this is such a big puffy neck. I wonder how that's gonna look on. And then it Velcro and zips. So this is the Velcro. Y'all, this jacket's something else. All these clothing items, they feel extremely nice. Like they feel like designer. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not just trying to butter up because you know I'll tell you guys the tea. It looks like it has this nylon feel to the inside of it, which looks a little bit different than the matte hard shell on the outside. I bought mine in a size me in a stretch medium. That's what I was gonna say. I told like the Grinch. I got mine in a size medium and it looks like it has pockets. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this stuff was gonna be nice based off what I saw online, but it kind of feels a bit nicer than what I thought. Like it feels, it's giving designer, but not designer prices. I feel like Kylie was like, listen, y'all tore me up on that swimwear, so I'm gonna come back swinging. And that she did, I'm impressed. Y'all ready to go to the snow? Cause that's what this is. Y'all, this is the puffiest puffer jacket I've ever tried on in my life. It feels thicker than a ski jacket, okay? And I, I have ski jackets. It also, I don't know if you guys, I missed this detail, but it's attached here. This isn't two separate jackets, but it has this really nice cloth sleeve inside puffer. So your arms and hands are gonna stay super warm. I was wondering how this like collar situation was gonna play out. I was like, is that going to look weird? But I actually love, like look how cute the collar is. So this one's supposed to be cropped. So my only thing is if you're cold, just make sure your stomach's not gonna be cold because look, your tummy might get a little bit cold. Another detail I was talking about earlier that I really like is that it zips, but it also Velcros. So you get that double protection from the cold. I think this puffer jacket's like honestly insane for the price. The medium, it fits me perfectly. It's a little loose, you know, and the sleeves like come all the way down. So I feel like the medium is the perfect size for a puffer. This is what the back looks like. Lift your arms. Yeah. I do love the color. I wanted it in the stone color so bad, but it was sold out. So all you girls out there with your stone puffer, I'm just kidding. I love the cobalt blue. I don't have anything in this jacket. Like I don't have anything in this color. Like this is not my color. So I just might have to make it my color because I, I really love the way it looks. Tyler, how much do you think this jacket was? If I had to guess, I would- Feel it, feel how thick it is. Yeah. Feel me. I would I would put this around like two hundred dollars. Yeah, two fifty. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's such a uh, like the texture of it. It's so like sleek and almost like it's plastic. Yeah, I was telling them it has a shell. Yeah. But the inside is different. It's a, a softer nylon to the inside. So this jacket was like one hundred eighteen bucks. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Doesn't Did you get this stuff on sale? 
No, regular price on Kai.com. So you guys, she's on to something. I'm telling you, Miss Kylie's on to something. She's figured us out. She said good quality, decent prices. Check, check. I love the jacket so far. I feel like I won't be able to wear it a lot. Oh, I'm sweating now. I feel like I won't be able to wear it a lot because um, a diva. Do you see this? A diva. I feel like I won't be able to wear it a lot because Los Angeles, it like the coldest it gets is like 40 degrees at night on the coldest night. But y'all gonna see me out here wearing it. It's cute, okay. Let's move on to our next heavy piece. So I also bought one of the most popular items in her first launch. By the way, she's done two launches with this brand. She's working on her third from what I understand. But this came in the first one. This is the mini dress. It's the faux leather strapless mini dress size small. It was 98 bucks. And this is what it looks like. It has like pockets, zip pockets in the front. It zips all the way down. And it just has these really cool, almost like motorcycle vibes. Is that a weird way to put it? Kind of looks like you could wear this mini dress if you were gonna ride a motorcycle. I don't know. Also has the exact same really comfy, breathable stretch mesh lining. My theory is why they put a mesh lining inside a leather dress. Cause a lot of times when you wear faux leather, pleather, anything that's not breathable, you get really sweaty and wet underneath it. And then I think their idea was to put a mesh lining in it. So what sits on your skin isn't the faux leather product and your skin can breathe and that way you won't get as wet and sweaty underneath it, which is genius by the way. I'm gonna try it on and see how that feels. But I think the dress is really pretty. It has like interesting pattern on it. Like the back of it, it looks so good on Kylie. It fit her like a glove. But like I said, our bodies are completely different. So I don't know like how this is actually gonna look on a body that is not curvature because this dress is quite pervy. So we will go ahead and try Try this on and see my thoughts. But for 98 bucks, I was like, dang, this is like some luxe product. You guys, look how cute this looks on. I just paired it with some of my booties and it has pockets in the front right here, which are real pockets and they have that mesh lining in them. So I don't know what kind of lip gloss I'm gonna be putting in there, but I'm gonna put something in there, okay? Both sides. And then another thing I noticed, you can kind of wear this in two ways if you want it, a little cleavage. You could like leave it unzip, and I kind of think like this is a vibe as well because look at the whole dress. So cute, and then you have that unzipped if you wanted to. Looks really cute in the back. Also, it fits so well. Oh my God, I'm so shocked. But this dress is so pretty. I also feel like because it has this design in the side of it, it if you can look here, it kind of gives you the illusion that you have like hips. How much do you think this dress costs, Ty? I'm not a good judge of a price <laughs> of a dress, but the fact that it's like the faux leather, I would put it at like 130. This was 98 bucks. Okay. So not bad, right? Deals. And it just unzips all the way down, so be careful. She has redeemed herself from that swimwear company, okay, with Kai. I'll definitely be buying more of this clothing brand. So far, it has been a really great experience. Oh my God, by the way, I have to follow up with them because I also bought the cargo pants in stone for 88 bucks and they never came in. So I need to contact them because I don't know if they refunded me because they were sold out or if they forgot to put it in my order. But I have my order here and it shows where I ordered them. So I spent $600, but I didn't get the cargo pants. So I'm waiting on those, but I'll reach out to the customer service or look through my email and try to figure out what happened there because I really wanted to try those on for you guys. They looked honestly not that flattering. And so I was like, are those going to be cute? We should try them for the video, but I don't know. They never came. So we'll figure that out. But anyways, our next item, they have these seamless baby tees for 48 bucks, which I think that's similar to like Skims prices on some of her stuff. Okay. This is the one I got. It is a size small and it feels really thick. Like this doesn't really feel like a cot. It feels cotton, but it feels thicker than cotton. And it's very, very stretchy as you can see, cause I think it's supposed to be super fitted and tight little crop tee. I love pieces like this cause I feel like they're great basics. If I had to compare this basic to any brand, I would say maybe like a Ritzia. I don't know if you guys have tried any of their basics, but similar pricing, similar style, similar quality. And it does feel super, super, super nice. It feels like a $48 shirt. 
made in China, 92% nylon. I was trying to see if it was like made of cotton, but it is not. It's nylon and elastic. I can tell the elastic, but the shirt does feel really, really nice. Honestly, I think out of all of these pieces that I got from Kylie and Kai, I, I'm mostly shocked at the quality versus the price. So maybe that explains it. I don't know, but I really do think that this feels like an extremely nice little tee. I'll go ahead and try it on for you guys so we can actually see the vision. How do we put this on without getting makeup on it? I don't know. I like to do this and then I will lit, oh, that's my headband. And then I'll literally, like I'm coming out of the womb and then do that whenever I'm putting on my tees. Y'all look how cute this tee is. It's like a really good little basic crop tee. Like I can definitely see me wearing this all the time. I normally don't like a really tight short sleeve. I'm like, okay, I like loose fit tees, but I feel like this would be cute like with an actual outfit, you know, I don't know. But anyways, really amazing quality, really thick t-shirt, super, super, super stretchy, if you guys can tell. And it fits perfectly. So this again is a small. Your deodorant mark. Oh no! You guys, I didn't escape the staining, the deodorant. But I think the tee is super cute. You guys can see the fit on it. I will say it has quite a high neck on it, which is kind of interesting. I, oh. Oh, that's a fuzz. So you can see like it's a it's a pretty high collared shirt. And then this is what it looks like from the back. Just super simple. I definitely will be wearing pieces like this all the time. A win is a win. A 10 out of 10. A. Okay, we're done. Okay, and I got one more piece besides the cargo pant, but you know we can't even try that. The other tee I got was the seamless baby tee. And then she has another baby tee. I got it in the shade stone. And it just says baby tee. Not seamless baby tee, but baby tee. For $42. This is it right here. I do like the packaging. I like the name of the brand, by the way. I think Kai is cute. Ooh, I like this color stone. Okay, so this one kind of seems like a good basic, but it's not as much t-shirty if you can see the collar around the top is a bit different than the black baby tee. It's just like a very tight, stretchy, it feels the same. Like as far as like the material, they feel very similar. And they are made of different materials because this one's 91% cotton. So yeah, this one could shrink on you maybe just a little bit if you put it in the dryer, but I probably wouldn't put these in the dryer anyways because they're like a nicer shirt. But yeah, it feels super thick, really heavy. I mean like really lux. I will say the baby tees because they're only in the 40s. This feels like it would cost more than $41, so. This is the taupe shirt and it's very fitted, but I think it's supposed to be this fitted and I think it looks so good on. I don't know if you guys can see the texture of it. It's just like pretty seamless as well as the other one. Pretty stretchy, so, you know, the sizes may vary because of how stretchy it is and how fitted it is, but it feels really comfortable. It feels really nice. It feels really good quality. I'll definitely be wearing this. I have to say, I absolutely love the color of it. I love it. It's like this, it's called stone, so it's like this gray beige color. It's so pretty. It does remind me of something that would come from Skims and that I would wear all the time. I actually have a Skims bra underneath it. So I think this tee deserves a 10 out of 10. Y'all know I love to give my 10 out of 10s, but I really do like this is such good quality and for 41 bucks, that's a deal. Don't forget to comment down below and um, let me know what you guys think of everything. This one is slightly cropped as well. So if you're not into, you know, a little stomach showing, you might not like these tighter baby tees, but I will say I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot and I love it. I think it's perfect. 10 out of 10. I have officially tried on every single piece of the Kai clothing and I have to say my final review is I think this is better than her makeup line. Like I feel like I don't know who she's working with or what she did to execute this, but every single piece fits so nicely, which I'm shocked because my body is so much different than what they advertise. And I feel like she killed it. This is probably better than her makeup line. Like honestly, so kindly girl, good for you. Better than scams? Oh! I didn't say all that. <laughs> the quality meets the price. If anything, she probably could charge more. Hopefully she won't in the future. But I'm actually really excited to see what she comes out with next. I feel like a lot of the pieces she's coming out with are stuff that you wouldn't wear every day and get that much use out of. But then she comes out with like tees and leggings and puffer jackets. And it's like people actually would use that all the time. So I feel like she's going really smart about it. If you got the money to just scrap a brand like that, like they got so much bad press as the swim did, I feel like obviously 
she has a lot of business people that tell her what to do, but I feel like she made a pretty good call there and just being like, you know what? Let's scrap Kylie's swim and start over because I like what she's doing here and it looks really good. What's weird is I didn't expect this from her for some reason. I was like, oh, she's a mama too now. Like she's got Kylie Cosmetics, which I think, and I don't know for sure, but I think she's trying to bike. She sold off a big portion of Kylie Cosmetics to Cody. And I feel like she, if I'm, this could be rumored, but I heard she's like trying to buy it back now. So maybe she didn't like the way it went. I will say Kylie Cosmetics, I feel like was talked about so much less after she sold it off. I don't know why that is. Maybe the customer feels a disconnect once they know the company is sold or majority stake in the company is sold. I hear she's trying to buy back. I don't know if that's true because she also sold a portion of KKW Beauty to Cody. And Cody owns, by the way, a ton of makeup brands. But I heard a little birdie told me they're trying to buy them back. That could be completely false. I don't know. You know, it's never a bad idea because a lot of people have sold and bought their businesses back when they don't like the way things have gone. So we'll see what happens with that in the future. But I hope you guys re enjoyed this review. I'll link my other reviews of Skims and my other reviews of Kylie Swim down below so you can get the full rundown if you want to do, you know, a little deep dive here on YouTube. But I will say I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I guess I can't say surprised because I wasn't that surprised. Honestly, what I saw online, I was like, wow, this stuff actually looks really good. I was debating on reviewing it because I don't want to come across as like a Kylie basher. It's just never the case, but I'm going to always be honest with you guys and if things are good, I'm going to say it. And if they're not, I'm going to say it. So yeah, I was like, I don't know if I want to review another brand, but then I was like, you know what? You guys asked me so much. I was like, where's it at girl? So I'm like, let me, let me get a review up for you guys. So these are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Okay. That's all the tea I got, but if y'all got more tea, comment down below your tea. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm going to give you a code word to comment. And this word is only for us. Okay. It's not for anyone else. So don't tell why you're commenting it, but comment the word Holly Jolly, Holly Jolly, H-O-L-L-Y Jolly, J-O-L-L-Y. Comment that down below if you stay till the end of the video. And this is only for people to stay till the end of the video. Okay. Don't tell nobody else. It's our secret and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.